Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. Everyone's on Pinterest and everyone's pinning stuff. But did you know that you can upload pictures directly from your desktop and put it onto Pinterest without pinning? There's a trick to do it though, so you're doing it right. Join me, I'll tell you how. How to upload images to Pinterest. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go, um, well, first thing you wanna do is log into your Pinterest account. But once you're logged in, you wanna click on the arrow on your right hand side. You may get this pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and select not now. When I click the plus again, it gives me a couple of different items. I'm gonna go ahead and choose upload a pin. You are gonna choose the image from a path that you have on your computer. Okay, so you'll get this pop up. So my image is already uploaded, but you're gonna be asked to add a description. This is very important. So even though that we are uploading from your computer, you still want to make sure you get the benefits of using Pinterest. So you want to add a keyword rich description. That means use the words or terminology that your followers um, would be searching for. So you put that in the description and then you actually assign it to a board. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste some text that I have. Okay, the text is in there and I'm gonna assign this to a board. This is my Twitter follower hacks board, so I'm gonna click on pin it there. And, oh, I missed the see it now button. Usually you can click on the see it now button. I'm just gonna do control F so I can find out where it is. So it's on this board. And you'll notice I already have something as my main picture on this board. I am going to change it to this one. But first I wanna edit it so it leads back to my website, okay? Usually you'll have an article, a blog post, something that you'll wanna lead it back to, but the point is you want to make sure that there is a link in here. I don't have any blogs on Twitter or tutorials, which is funny, so I'll have to grab some um, and put them in here, but the whole point is to make sure you lead back to one of your items. If you like, you can put in a city, just so if anyone is looking for anyone close to you, to them or in a specific area, um, they will find that. So I'll put downtown Atlanta. So in other words, if someone's looking for a local so social media manager or strategist, they will find my board. Okay. So now you have a custom actual pin with a custom issue, excuse me, image that you've created. Okay, looks nice. And anytime someone clicks on it, it will lead back to your site. So that's about it. Wanna learn more about Pinterest? Use one of my two videos listed below to learn more. You could either learn Nina's nine tips on Pinterest or how to create a cover for your Pinterest boards. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.